What's up, tubers? Welcome back to the channel. Got another What's in the Box video for you. Today we're working with the 1929 Ford Woody Pickup by AMT. It's a four-in-one kit. Which means it's got four different ways you can build it. You can build it as a hot rod, a uh, woody, uh, I don't know what you call that, woody truck thing. But this is, it actually has an actual pickup truck. And it also has, if you notice on the box, a super cool Stingray bike. I mean, I don't know if it's licensed as an actual Stingray, but you know what, whatever. That it is in my mind, in my eyes it is. This is pretty much the entire reason that I bought this kit was for that. I was in the hobby shop and saw it on the shelf. And this is a, uh, a recent release, uh, round two. I don't know if it's a repop or not. But I saw it on one of their videos of their monthly what's coming and saw that and knew I had to have it. So I've already opened this and taken it out of the bag. I started doing an unboxing video and realized that I didn't hit record. <laughs> so, you know, it cooks faster when you turn it on. So we're going to do like we do. We're going to pop the top, flip it, and check it. And like I said, it's already been out of its bag. I've already been in there and looked at everything. So we're going to do this again, this time actually recording it. <laughs> so first off, we'll see the uh, instruction manual is, you know, a typical AMT. It's a larger fold-out style. Um, and it's got, you know, different options for... Your different builds for which motor you're going to use, which wheels you're going to use, which uh, which body you're going to use. So you know uh, it's kind of neat. I mean, I've, I'll probably refer to it for some stuff, but and then we'll look at the decal sheet, which is also really nice. It's got several different options for flames. Uh, I may or may not be using those on this kit, but they will definitely be used on something those are pretty cool uh there's a flaming eight ball a flaming skull uh, some various license plates and it says silver spokes bicycle shop and uh, a few blue ovals some Krager logos center caps or, or yeah i guess center caps Krager SS, so that's pretty cool. They're actually Krager wheels, which I guess we can get into that next. First off, uh, we pull this stuff out of the way and kind of organize it a little bit. Um, now we'll come back to the wheels. Let's get, let's do the body parts first. Or most of them anyways. So here's your uh, chassis frame underside combination this looks to me like it's built on the uh the switcher models the ones where you could actually build this part up with all your motor and transmission or trans wow words drivetrain <laughs> and then switch the body out with several different types so um i don't know i don't know we'll see what happens but it's got a nice uh it's got a wood grain pattern underneath there. You know, it looks like plank board. You can see some knots and uh, grain design. Not a whole lot of flash, but a little bit, which, you know, again, leads me to believe that this is probably a, a repop from the switchers. And then the, I guess I should look at what this is called. Uh, you know, the, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, this also has some slight wood grain texture to it, and the top has, uh, well, I guess that would probably be leather from that year, that era. Um, you know, very decent, decent, uh, shape, it doesn't look twisted or bent. And the interior has, um, a... Hatched. It also also look like boards. There's wood grain throughout those, and then there's the other different options for 
which vehicle you're going to use. Like here's a different uh, cockpit area. Uh, those mold lines are pretty prominent. I don't know if that's part of the function of the feature of the hood. I don't think so. Those are probably thick mold lines that will have to get sanded out. Uh, solid, like that's a metal portion, metal part. Uh, I don't know where that will go. There somewhere. And then you've got your truck bed, which is pretty cool. A little pickup truck, a little mini, teeny tiny bed. That would probably go back there. With the, the cockpit era, area with a top. Uh, I, I want to say vinyl, but I don't think they even made vinyl back then in the late uh, 29. So that's pretty cool. That's got a neat look to it. It's probably the style I'm going to be using for my build. I have some ideas. <laughs> and if you know anything about my build style, you probably have an idea of where that idea is going. Uh, looks like a inner interior floorboard kick panel. Uh, tailgate with the Ford logo. The old-timey script Ford logo. Uh, little chains, which are eh, not the best details, but it's there. You could probably pull it out with a toothpick. And then your interior tub, uh, which is also wood grain. Yeah, it looks like plank wood. And your seats, all one piece, no backs or anything to assemble, so those just get painted up and put in. The hood portion, uh, which would be really neat if that could open or cut it and put a hinge on it so that they actually butterfly open the way they would. But looks like it might be more work than it's really worth, so I probably won't do that. Uh, and then your truck bed sides or one version of it, I guess. Yeah, because there's, there's this little mini bed and then there's this a little bit longer Huh, oh, we'll see. Well, they have pretty limited parts count on this thing. Uh, some various, uh, there's a single piece exhaust. One pipe with a big zoomy on it. Looks like a, like a super trap kind of header. Brap em, brap em. Uh, this has some wheel backs. Uh, a, there's two different steering wheel options. You have what looks like probably the OEM style four spoke and then a deeper three spoke. Uh, some suspension parts and the uh, one piece uh, springs front and rear that go transposed. The rear, um, I guess, the tailgate portion for that and the windows. Which, I wonder, if there's, is there glass for those? I don't think there is. We'll see in a second. No, there's not. I can see there is no glass for those. Huh. Oh, that's where these go. These go inside of there to give it that wood look. Hmm. So there's fabrication options here, you know. And then the wheels, two different styles, a um, newer style spoke and an older style wagon wheel spokes. So that's pretty neat. The inline four banger flat top engine with a teeny little carburetor and belt and pulley system, a blanket bed roll. What is that? What is this? Huh? It looks like an old-timey skateboard. It is. It's like a super small wheeled clay wheel plank skateboard. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I love the extras. I love it when there's extras. 
uh, dual exhaust and a dash plate with zero details, which are probably on this, on the chrome tree, which, wow, look at that chrome block. Who would chrome their entire engine? <laughs> and then there's your nice actual Kragers, Krager style wheels, or actual Krager logos that we saw earlier. Uh, and then the bicycle, uh, two halves of chrome, and the uh, fork and handlebar assembly, single piece. So those will have to get glued together, which um, I'm going to strip those. I'm going to you know, put them some easy off and get the chrome off. That way I can glue them together solid and then choose a color of my own. And let's see, there's a bumper and some Ford script license plates, headlight buckets, and there's your gauge cluster with some pretty good detail in there. That'll paint up nice. And then your flathead uh, valve covers. Or heads, I guess those would be the actual heads, wouldn't they? Uh, that's about it, really. I mean, there's some other various parts. There's another gauge style, a little teeny one. So, not sure which one we're going to be using. Uh, we'll look at the glass portions, the clears. Um, no reds, no taillights, which I... I I don't think they even had taillights back then. I know my sister had a 46, 47 Willys wagon. It had one taillight factory. So you've got two different wheel, or uh, wheels, excuse me, head, wow, words. <laughs> Bear with me. We're almost done. <laughs> Windshields, two different styles, a larger and a smaller one. And the wheels for the bicycle are in the clear package, which that's kind of strange. That those will get painted up and put some silver on those to make them look like spokes. And then a couple headlights. And then lastly, the tires, which it's got two different options. You've got five of these. Super small, thin, pinner, pretty big wheel uh, of the OEM style. So those would go on your wagon wheels or your upgraded spoke style. Look at how thin that thing is. A decent tread, you know, a single tread line. No name tires, solid one piece. They're not hollow which, you know, I'm sure they'll go on there easy enough. So there's five of those. And then the other option is the hot rod stuff. We've got big wides for the back and then a smaller wide for the front. Uh, and those are Goodyear stamped. They're not pad printed, but it does have a logo on there. Again, pretty decent tread pattern. And those will those will look nice. And I'm not sure which one I'm going to go with. As I said in the beginning, I have some ideas. Uh, I'll just go ahead and spill the beans, as it were. Kind of thinking, how cool would this thing be as a monster truck? Huh? All jacked up with some big mud tires on it. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So, that about does it for the MT 4-in-1 29 Ford Woody pickup for that cool bike. That's going to look really neat, all painted up, all shiny. And let's look at the, load of the decals again real quick. I didn't see any Schwinn. Oh, no, it's a skull. Never mind. But that'll still look cool. Little skull thing. Put that on the on the front, the the gusset of the headset. So there you go. That about does it. Thanks for watching. Give me a like, thumbs up, subscribe, all that kind of internet horse hockey, or not. As I say, do what you want. 
I do these for fun. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you in the next one.